Hello, my name is Adenuga Sunday Joseph, pastor of Success Dimension Church, Okitunu Ibadan. In this series, I'm going to be teaching on the topic, the keys of the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom. So this is the first in the series of the topic, once again, the keys of the kingdom. If you open your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 and 19, I open my Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 16, from verse 18 and 19. It reads, And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The keys of the kingdom of heaven are the forces and powers of God inside a man that gives him the ability to bind and to lose. You can operate that key of the kingdom in this world. It is the power of God to solve problems. It is the power of God to call those things that be not as though they were. But for you to operate these keys of the kingdom, you have to understand that everything in the universe operates by keys. Everything in the universe operates by key. There's a key that opens everything. If you do not, if you want to, if you have a piano, you cannot play it except you have the key. The key is the knowledge, the power, the ability to understand its working and use it for your own benefit. That is the key. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 says something very, very interesting. Let me read it for you. It says, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, This thing said, He that is holy, he that is true, he that have the key of David. Jesus is the only one that have the key. He that opened it and no man shut it, and shut it and no man opened it. The key, when Jesus is the only one that have the key, is the only one that can open and no man can shut. And he's the only one that can shut. And there's no other man that can open when Jesus shut. Without key, you cannot succeed in life. And every key of success in life belongs to Jesus. Every, every key of success in life can only be found in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And you need this key. For you to operate the key of life, the key of the kingdom, the key that will help you and make you to open success in life, there are several important ingredients you have to note. The first thing for you to operate the key of the kingdom or the key of life is you have to know these seven things. Number one, never allow other people to run your life for you. You have to know how to manage your life yourself. You have to manage your fears yourself. You do, you, do, you do what you want to do, not what other people want you to do. Because as long as other people are running your life for you, the key of life, the key of success, the key of the kingdom cannot be in your hand. You cannot operate. You have to rule your life yourself. Do not surrender to the dictates of second class people, second class citizens. Never base your decision on what others expect of you. You have to be the decider. You have to be the deciding factor of your destiny. Remember King Saul, God called him 
and God told him to go and destroy the Amalekites. But King Saul allowed himself to be ruled, to be directed. He allowed other people to dictate to him. God told him, destroy everybody in Amalek. But Saul was counseled, advised to spare the king and good things of the land. And that earned him his kingdom. That earned him a great penalty. It became a sin. And that was the principal sin that stopped him from having the kingdom of Israel forever. Allowing other people to rule your life will take away the key of success from you. It will take away the key of power from you. It will take the key of wisdom from you. So never allow other people to run your life. Key number two, never blame other people for bad luck or failure. When you fail in life, you have to take responsibility. Don't blame other people. Blame yourself. Take responsibility for whatever happens in your life. Don't blame your wife. Don't blame your parents. Don't blame the country. Don't blame your government blame yourself because by blaming other people you are establishing the fact that you are a, you're a failure you are establishing the fact that you are a failure when you blame other people for your failure remember Adam in the garden of Eden in the book of Genesis chapter 3 Adam ate the fruit and when God came he said no God it is the wife that you gave me the woman made me to do it he blamed he shifted the blame somebody said don't shift the blame fix it why don't you fix the blame instead of shifting the blame instead of blaming somebody else provide a solution that is the conclusion of this episode next time i'm still going to continue on this topic keys of the kingdom watch out God bless you. For more encouragement, visit www.motivationfortoday.com or email me at successdimensionchurch at gmail.com. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.